Hey, what's up, guys? Back here with another video, and this video I'm going to go about my next rank five decision. Um, so a good of five stars, and then max all that. So the most recent rank five decision I made was in like preparation for the abyss. So it was Archangel. And the reason I ranked five gym was I had him at rank four for like the longest time. He was like one of my first rank fours. I just never took him up to rank five. Cause I was like, I don't know why he does everything he needs at rank four. So what's the point? But then act six came out. And I think in like chapter three, I realized his help was written a little big. And I haven't used Archangel in like over like a year and a half. And I was like, you know, this fight might be good for Archangel. I haven't used him in so long then. I was like, you know what? I might want to rank five him. Then I was like, yeah, I don't know. The health pools are big, but I don't really know if I want to rank five him. But then Abyss came out, and I was like, there was one fight that I was extremely worried for, because I don't have Nick Fury. That's Invisible Woman. Invisible Woman has a node that um, every time she reaches her bar power, she puts a uh, sting on you, or whatever they're called. And once the sting fades, if you don't use a special attack, you t I mean, if you use a special attack when it's active, you take damage, as you know. And if it fades, you get stunned. So, one of the best cha characters initially was Nick Fury, because in the second phase, he's stun immune. And I didn't have Nick Fury, and I was like, I really don't want to just, this fight, it's going to be hell. So I was like, I don't know how much I really want to do And then I found out that you don't get stunned with the node if you have a debuff on the opponent. Who is the king of debuffs? I mean, the CEO of debuffs. That's Archangel. This dude plays his debuffs for days. And then I was curious, and I asked an alliance member to send me a video. I forgot who it was, but someone sent me a video over him. They got like 40% of her down in one try as a rank four. So I was like, okay, we're going to be going for the one or two shot with the rank five because if you can do that much damage, then he definitely deserves the rank five. Archangel is also a beast in general. I'm at SIG 80. I've been at SIG 80 like a long time ago, which is not enough for the 33%, but it's 31 and that's close enough. I mean, I've never been screwed over by that small percentage to not get their neurotoxin like ability accuracy. And half the time you can push yourself up to four, five, six plus easily. So it's like whatever. Just when you have three, it won't be a hundred percent. I mean, if I die to it, then whatever. But I don't think I will die to it honestly ever. So um, yeah, Archangel definitely deserves a rank five. And at rank five, his damage is pretty absurd. I mean, as long as you can bleed and poison the enemy, it's just like a cakewalk. So right now I'm gonna cut to a uh, the next part of the video, which is. A Realm of Legend Wolverine solo. Wolverine, if you don't know, he has that crazy regeneration, but uh, Archangel's Neurotoxins, where is it? Uh, where is it? Oh, it's his sick ability. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm very slow. But it will block all regeneration on the target. You don't need to have three of Neurotoxins active or four, or whatever. You just need to have one, and it'll cancel all regeneration. So. He's a beast for the Realm of Legends went to um, Wolverine fight, and yeah, I'm going to clip, uh, switch a clip to that right now. Enjoy. All right, we're back with the Wolverine fight, Realm of Legends. And this is my first time using the rank 5. I got here using Aegon. Um, but right now, we're just running the Suicide uh, Masteries, and no deep wounds or anything like that. But this fight, this is my first fight using rank 5. I wasn't, like, mentally prepared to see how fast this guy shreds this fight. I didn't realize it was going to be this fast. This is, like... A 400,000 health Wolverine. Keep that in your mind. And he kills it in about, I think, 35 hits. Something like that. So, yeah. That's like on average, every hit's doing like more than 10,000 damage. Um, if you do it like hit-wise. But, yeah. Archangel just destroys everything. He is just such a beast. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.